Hello, Peter of the Mr. Who Reviews. And they are reviewing Nico 7's episode 42. And after the week uh, break from the series, or since in this episode, the registration for the Goha Rust Duel Team Battle Royale tournament is beginning, and Rook is pretty excited. Uh, he gets kind of mad when Yuga says he isn't uh, interested in entering. Yeah, he gets so angry he nearly punches Yuga. And if he did, it would have been the third person to punch the protagonist into Yuga, so. And the Rook doesn't really get what Yuga demand to enter, so he just goes off. And he actually meets uh, Hunt in the entrance to uh, the mountain where he and the others found uh, the mine where the uh, maximum cars are. And turn out the Machine Cavalry Club is there as well. And when he tells uh, Austin about you're gonna enter and see at the other stands, and he kind of like, teases him about it to say that the two of them aren't really that close. And when they go into the cave, uh, they see there the lights all around it. And turns out there's astronauts or kid or what the Roman call the like, kid astronaut cosplay cosplayers. Yeah, apparently they're the fifth elementary uh, space registration duel club or something. Yeah, I don't know if they're just fantasy space, but they broke the cells on the doctor the weirdos. So, yeah, I think only the girl uh, member is a weirdo. So she keeps saying she's a seagull. I don't know. And throughout that, he saw uh, Arthur performing the Maximum Summon. And uh, Ganyan, as he calls them, uh, Peeping Toms. And I do have to agree, because they are they were spying on the, the Mysterian Cavalry Club, so. Hmm. And they have a duel to decide uh, uh, who should uh, go and find the maximum cards. And the leader of the space club, uh, Hanya, Hanya, as he sounds, is that. Uh, uh, Asana, but Asana makes uh, Rook his, oppo his opponent. And do does go off very well, and uh, Rook gets a little mad to, uh, that, he's, uh, that he's losing life points. And actually, he's actually got to blame Yuga for it, but he, then uh, during the duel, yes, he realizes uh, why uh, you don't want to join the tournament. And just thanks to his. Uh, Gravity uh, Pulse Dragon's uh, ability. And of course, you, uh, Rook wins, and turns out uh, Gothito and Roman uh, were trying to find him. Oh, yeah, they actually called the, the mountain, the mount, uh, Maximum Mountain. It's a good name. Like, first, Rook used it, and Ganyan told him not to call that, but then uh, Honya called it that. Sometimes it's into a stick, but hmm. uh, it does turn out that Gato and Roman realize you guys' reasons, and they all try to find a uh, massive cards, and it turns out they couldn't find any. And it turns out uh, Roman does forgive Yuga, or something he understands now. And ask them to be their, their manager, their cheerleader boy, their sub, their sub. <sighs> but you can just say whatever he is to be seen for them in the sideline or on the sidelines. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a good uh, Brook Fox episode. And they had did did they have suspicions? On why uh, 
Gaha is actually supporting World Stream now with Gospel Kingdom that they probably got a uh, claim they uh, created at World Stools. And I kind of find funny that Rookus was, was saying that he's, when he becomes a dual king, he say his he, uh, friend that uh, Yuga is the father of it. Yeah, I know uh, people listen to the king, but I don't think they believe every word they say. Or probably a few people. And hmm. um, yeah, I, I did know that Rook does act differently with his friends and with, when he's alone. Maybe he has some uh, insecurities or not, not really uh, comfortable acting a certain way around him or something. Just that uh, so acting like uh, like, well, goofy and dumb and that. I don't know. I think there's a good line in this one there. Hong is saying that he sold soul to the devil. And um, Rook is saying that he, uh, he, um, attained tamed the devil down or something like that. Rook might be goofy sometimes, but sometimes he has uh, some badass lines. Hmm. Um, yeah, the tournament's actually begin next week, and I just wonder uh, what teams are going to be on. Like, they did some preview, and I was like, uh, some of the other uh, school teams are going to be beat out, like the Susie Club, the Newspaper Club, the Dinosaur Club. I just wonder if uh, Roman and uh, some members of the bands are going to be there, or Roa, they're going to be, and some members of the bands are going to be there. I don't know if Neil uh, will be since in the last episode of the second arc he said he he can't uh, his account is destroyed so he can't do it anymore. Maybe he'll get a new account or something, but uh, I'll have to see. And turn on next week, uh, oh, is uh, coming back and you guys said uh, gotta be doing some serious character. Because that's where I see who it is. And, uh... Yeah, for the first few episodes of the new arc, pretty good. And the next episode, it's gonna be a Yuga Folks episode, so... Should be good. And I just wonder if there's gonna be any uh, Maximum Monsters in this arc, or if it's just gonna be a, a Rust Duel. But, eh, yeah, what can I say? Uh, I'm still, so yeah, 